As we reach the end of 2016 and look forward to the new year, I'd like to share with you something truly remarkable that happened to me during my recent visit to Ghana. It was completely unexpected. While I was visiting the village of Hueda, I met a former child trafficker. This is him, Emmanuel, on the right. He told me the easiest way to enslave a child is to look for one whose family is desperate because a parent has died. That's why child fishing slavery is thriving. Vulnerable families. They send children to the boats in return for a small payment and a promise that more money will come. The children are overworked and underfed. Many are beaten. The children are forced to work in dangerous conditions. They don't get paid and they can't go home. Now, the good news is we're starting to turn things around and it's Emmanuel, the child trafficker, who is helping. The man sitting next to Emmanuel is Sylvester and he was trafficked as a child. This was truly astounding and moving. A victim and a victimizer sitting side by side, working together to end child slavery. You made this teamwork possible. The Free the Slaves model creates community child protection committees. They work to educate villagers about child rights, uncover hidden cases of trafficking, and change the conditions that allow slavery to persist. More than 60 children have been removed from slavery just this year. They're back home, where they're in shelters, where they are safe and protected. During this holiday season, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the families of Weda, our staff, and our partners around the world who are working to bring slavery to an end. You make this possible. We don't free slaves, you do.